Hello and welcome to my channel. I am Auntie Josie. Uh, this is where I come to discuss sexual issues, where uh, people are really losing it with their sexuality. People are making their own choices, so many choices. I am here to offer guidance. I am here to offer counseling. I am here to offer um, information, you empower you with information. As a young person, particularly the young people, because uh, the records and the news, the, the media is filled with this. so many instances of so much sadness uh, with the young people where their sexuality is concerned. So causes of sex addiction, majority of people do not understand why, how they got into sex addiction, okay? And uh, they are just living to them. It is just all right until you stop them, until you notice what they are actually doing. Majority of them will not even know that actually they are addicted to sex. Now, I ask them, majority of them are married to very beautiful women, but no, they cannot even keep one marriage together. They will be having this very good family and a good job, but they can lose it all just because they are addicted to sex. And until they sit down and, you know, you sit down with them and you talk to them and you take them through this journey is when they realize, ah, it is because of ABCD that I am doing ABCD. Okay. So body image. Okay. Body image. Particularly people who grew up thinking that beauty is everything in life. You understand? And I will use my beauty to assert myself. Okay. And probably they have watched so much pornography. There's a way they want to look like. Okay. So they go around and change their bodies so that, of course, now they can look more sexy. To them, the physical is what is most attractive. And you cannot blame them. Then, of course, there are those who think that by having sex, it accentuates their beauty because if somebody is accepting you, then it means that you are perfect. To them, that is what they think. Therefore, they will pursue sex as a way of stamping the fact that they are beautiful in their lives. Number two, people who are, have a history of sexual trauma, people who are raped, people who are exposed to child pornography, people who are molested at home. This is incest, okay? These people tend to translate that as the norm in life. You will be living with them, but they will be pursuing that. They will be pursuing sexual pleasures because apparently they think that this is what, is, what, this is what it is supposed to be. Or they have so much pain and anger and so much suffering inside them, they still want to use sex as a way of dealing, okay? Then there is mental health issues. People who have depression, okay? Maybe they think they reach a point where they just want to die and they turn to sex to actually make them feel better. People who have um, mood swings, bipolars, when, when they are high, they're so high and they think sex is the only thing they can do to stay up there. And then when they go down, it is such a bad law. Schizophrenics. People who have got absolutely no control over their choices, over their thoughts, over their feelings, and they will be taken advantage of, and they will continue like this because apparently no one is taking care of them. And, you know, they cannot even begin to understand what is going on in their lives because in their mind, to them, this is just fine, okay? There is emotional abuse. People who come from broken homes, people who are neglected, people who are rejected, abused okay the majority of them some of them really are using sex to fix their self-esteem because it is in sex where we find love it is in sex that we find acceptance it is in sex where we feel desired for and since they were never loved or desired for or appreciated they will pursue sex because this is the one place where they find acceptance and you know they feel loved, and so they think that this is just the way life should be. This is how to deal with all the shit that I brought from my home. There is physical abuse. Physical abuse induces aggression, okay? It induces aggression. Believe you me, somebody was beaten and beaten so badly and beaten so bad, abused by a stepmother, abused by a stepfather, abused by an abusive guardian. Parents who are just so abusive. These are people who grow up wanting to fight back, okay? Wanting to fight back. And therefore you realize that uh, there comes a time when BDSM, 
becomes a part of dealing with the pain because they are so much used. So it, not all people who, have, who are into BDSM actually were abused, but majority of them, they were so much abused. They know how to deal with pain. Therefore, they, they, they are trying to, to, you know, switch that pain into pleasure by bringing it into their sexual lives so that at least they can proceed with life because they think this is the right way to deal with their issues. There's also the issue of loss or grief. You know, people who have lost loved ones. Uh, separations can be deep, particularly death. You will never see this person again. It, there's a way it can mess with your mind, with your coping, the way you cope, the way you talk to people, the way you approach life in it, life itself. It could be a, a way that you feel like it is a wound. This is a wound. I have lost so and so. This is the only person that meant anything to me. Therefore, you try to find something else to replace that love, to replace that joy that this person used to bring you. They are no longer there. So what do you do? You turn to sex. Majority of them are turning to sex. And it becomes addictive, easily addictive. Sex becomes easily addictive because of the dopamine, because of the oxytocin, those feel-good hormones. Once you've had sex, you feel like a conqueror. You feel like, yes, I have done it. You feel like, yes, I have achieved something. Yes, I am powerful. Yes, I am okay. I am loved. I am needed. This is it. Therefore, they just spend their lives pursuing sex. If you know you have any of these problems, emotional abuse, physical abuse, loss of grief, loss or grief that you have not been able to cope with, you have a history of sexual trauma, or you've had body image issues, and you think sex is the only way that you can fix these issues, it is always important to stop and realize that that is not the way to handle these issues. Therefore, seek therapy. Find someone you believe in, someone you trust in, so that you can sit with them and they will be able to guide you. They will be able to hold your hand and to let you go of the pain and to forgive and to forget so that you can forge forward and focus on better things in life. Thank you very much. Uh, subscribe to this channel kindly. Give this video a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, please ask them and I will get back to you. Thank you very much.